In this video, we will show you why Max Verstappen was fined for violating Park Ferme rules following Formula One qualifying by hitting Lewis Hamilton's rear wing. So what do you think is the reason behind this issue? Verstappen was summoned to the stewards on November 13th in Brazil when fan capture surfaced showing him inspecting and touching the rear wing of his challenger Hamilton's car after qualifying. The hearing began at 9.30 a.m. at Interlagos. Red Bull Sporting Director Jonathan Wheatley joined Verstappen to meet with the stewards, which lasted less than 30 minutes. According to a subsequent FIA bulletin, Verstappen earned a 50,000 euro fine for violating Article 2.5.1 of the International Sporting Code. Article 2.5.1 of the ISC indicates, Inside the Parc Ferme, only the officials assigned may enter. No operation, checking, tuning, or repair is allowed unless authorized by the same officials or by the applicable regulations. The stewards interviewed Verstappen and examined fan footage and onboard camera footage from Verstappen, Hamilton, Valtteri Bottas, and Fernando Alonso's cars. Notably, the stewards observed that there was insignificant force when Verstappen contacted the wing of Hamilton's vehicle. Referencing the ongoing probe concerning Mercedes DRS failing post-session checks, the stewards admitted that inspecting and touching other cars has become a habit for drivers that is mostly harmless. Still, they also stated that it violates the Park Ferme regulation and has the potential to cause injury. Because of this, the stewards thought it was necessary to take action and fine Verstappen 50,000 euros, while also stating that, Further breaches may attract other sanctions from the stewards of such events. Did you know that Red Bull will not support Verstappen in paying his 50,000 euros fine? Max Verstappen received a substantial punishment for touching Lewis Hamilton's rear wing in the pit lane. Still, Red Bull would not assist him in covering those costs. After Helmut Marko announced that Red Bull would not be helping him, Max Verstappen will have to pay his 50,000 euros fine out of his pocket. On Friday night, Verstappen was summoned by the stewards at Interlagos for an alleged violation of the FIA International Sporting Code regarding Park Ferme conditions. After qualifying, Verstappen appeared to glance at and touch title challenger Lewis Hamilton's rear wing, according to fan footage. Verstappen and a Red Bull official met with the stewards, who finally found him guilty of the offense. Verstappen was fined 50,000 euros as a result. It appears that he will be liable for paying that amount himself, according to Marco. In response to a question from a journalist about whether Verstappen will pay the cost out of his pocket, Marco said, yes, he has to pay it. But what do other drivers have to say about this fine? George Russell thinks Max Verstappen should have been penalized for shoving Lewis Hamilton off the track in Sao Paulo. On the fourth lap of Sunday's race, Verstappen tried to overtake him around the outside of Decida do Lago. Mercedes has petitioned the stewards to look into the incident. Whether there'll be a retrospective penalty for that, I don't know, Russell told Sky. Should a punishment have been imposed? They should have been, because you can't just break 25 meters later than you do on every other lap and force the other guy off the road. That's not fair racing. It's harder racing, but it's not fair racing. However, Daniel Ricciardo believes that because Hamilton won the race, a penalty for Verstappen is less likely. Ultimately, Lewis won. He was the faster car and the better guy on the day, so I don't think it changes anything in the championship now, which is probably best case scenario, said the McLaren driver. I think if Max won the race, then I think they probably would have pushed harder with the protests and everything else. Lando Norris, Ricardo's teammate who was penalized for driving Sergio Perez wide in the Austrian Grand Prix, stated that other drivers had been penalized for less. A lot of people have different views and conflicting views on it and so on. More like conflicting against what the actual outcome was, which was nothing, said Norris. There could have been some scenarios where people have got penalties for far less and less intentional. I might have been involved in a couple of them. So what do you think? Did Max deserve the 50,000 euros fine? Let me know your thoughts and comment down below. Now that you have seen why Max got a 50,000 euros fine, you must watch this video where we will show you Max Verstappen's luxurious house, expensive car collections, million dollars net worth, and a lot more. So click the video on your screen right now to know more about Max Verstappen's luxurious lifestyle.